Working to attain six plus sigma is a challenging task, but you will improve every step on the way. First, I will explain what six plus sigma is, and second, give you the very high level plan on how Toyota achieved it. Next, what is six plus sigma? First of all, sigma is a measure of dispersion around a mean. The narrower the dispersion, the better off you are. The normal distribution is plotted here, showing the mean of a population mu dispersed by one, two, and three sigma. For instance, if you are producing ball bearings and you are operating at two sigma, then about 48% are within the two big category and another 48% are within the two small category. Another way to look at this is that 2.1 plus 0.1% of your ball bearings are too small. I think there's a easier way to look at this and that is by looking at DPMO. DPMO stands for defects per million opportunities. You can see on the table at the right that if you're running at three sigma, it means that you are allowing 66,811 defects out of a million chances for a defect. You see that the DPMO decreases significantly as sigma increases. When you operate at six sigma, you are allowing 3.4 defects per million opportunities. Operating greater than six sigma means that your DPMO is less than 3.4. There are about 30,000 parts in an automobile. At 30,000 chances for a defect, Toyota must produce at least 10 cars without a defect to attain six sigma. They exceed 10 cars in a row manufactured without a defect to attain six plus sigma. Sigma. Next, I will go through the seven very high-level steps they took to achieve this. This is a high-level overview of the seven steps. I will follow this slide with more detail. First, your guiding principles laid the groundwork to excellence. Mapping your value streams focuses you on what to change to accomplish excellence. Flow represents nirvana in transition from one process to the next. If both processes have the same time duration, then you are in flow. Pull means that the downstream process makes its request to the upstream process when it is ready to execute. Pull is faster than push, where each department goes as fast as possible. Pull is also the basis of building a product or service for just one customer at a time. Seeking perfection is a strong competitive differentiator for Toyota. This continuous improvement program generates about 11 ideas per person per year, and each idea moves a process improvement in a management defined direction. Toyota could not achieve six plus sigma if their suppliers did not also achieve six plus sigma. And lastly, an and on notification is used to stop the assembly line whenever a defect is detected. The source of the defect is determined and the cause of the defect is rectified. Let's overview guiding principles first. I don't have time in this presentation to go through each of these guiding principles, so I'll just pick out a few to highlight. One, follow a long-term philosophy. Apple Computer operates this way and meets quarterly expectations also. Following a long-term philosophy opens up your business plan and creates innovative ideas. Four, level the workload. This is key to smooth operations. It is also very difficult. There are tools that you can put in front of your value stream that will artificially level your workload, and you can also perform efforts to manipulate customers to level your workflow. 11, respect and challenge suppliers. To attain six plus sigma, you will need to work closely with your suppliers to integrate them into your system. This may even mean that you send employees into your suppliers to help them align to your requirement. 12, go and see for yourself for understanding. Whether you are a manager or individual contributor, to have a thorough understanding of an issue, you must go and investigate for yourself. If you think this is simple, Jeffrey K. Liker wrote a whole 300-page book on Toyota's guiding principles titled Toyota Way. Next, I will show you the advantages of mapping your value streams. A value stream is comprised of all the processes starting with a customer order and ending with customer delivery. A value stream is how customers see your system. This is compared with managing department by department. The value stream has some major advantages. It shows you where to focus your performance improvement efforts that will most greatly impact system performance. It gives you profound knowledge of your system and it has built-in metrics. This picture demonstrates a building permit process architecture. For each process, it documents the time through the process, the time value is added within the process, and the resulting percentage of product with a defect. By aggregating this information, you attain value stream information. This includes the total time through the value stream, the time within the value stream that you are adding value, and your value stream defect rate. Next, areas of flow. 
Flow is the goal for any two processes. When two processes take the same amount of time, then the second process will become ready for the first process's output right when the first process has completed. Processes are comprised of activities. So once you have identified all the sequential processes that take the same amount of time, look for processes that are close in time and see if you can shift activities from one to the other to make that time equal. If flow is not possible, then pool is the next best thing. Pool is based on passing a Kanban card from the downstream process to the upstream process. This signals the upstream process that the downstream process is ready. The card represents a customer and its product or service configuration. Pool has two major advantages. It is faster than push and it limits excess inventory by only building for a defined customer. This is a recently discovered very large competitive advantage for Toyota. They will not expand into a new plant unless they can set up this process. The process accelerates Toyota into the future by each individual coming up with 11 ideas every year. Toyota implements about 95% of their employees' ideas, and all ideas move Toyota management closer to their goals. Because this engages all employees in improving Toyota operations, it creates a winning system culture. First of all, I'm speculating that this is how Toyota has their suppliers organized. For Toyota, if they operate at 6 Plus Sigma, their suppliers must also operate at 6 Plus Sigma. Also, Toyota only carries two hours of inventory on their dock. I won't at this point discuss the strategic nature of inventory, but the negative impact of inventory is that it is a cost that is not being used. To maintain the just-in-time requirement and the 6 Plus Sigma requirement, Toyota will send their employees to work with their suppliers so that the suppliers can execute to Toyota's stringent requirements. Last on my list of seven is what Toyota refers to as Andon. When the Andon system is activated by the detection of a defect, the assembly line stops, the source of the defect is determined, and the process rectified before starting the assembly line again. This creates the learning organization listed as the 14th guiding principle. This rids Toyota automobiles of defects. Toyota currently receives about 800 Andon calls per year for each plant. Andon calls are also a metric. When they go too high, Toyota backs off the changes they implement, and if it goes too low, Toyota increases the change they implement. In summary, Anton is used as a seek perfection metric and demonstrates the interconnectedness of the Toyota production system. Hospitals are another place to use Anton. Hospitals infect about 1 out of 31 patients with contamination. This is referred to as HAI or Hospital Acquired Infections. This is an ideal place for an Andon system. If you deviate from standard best practices, make an Andon call and don't infect the patient. The road to 6 plus sigma has a sequence and has a velocity. The velocity is adjustable, but the sequence is somewhat fixed. At my website, www.buildyourtps.com, I expand out the very high level steps from seven to roughly 25 high level steps. If you're running at three, four, or five sigma, it is time to move to a level of excellence by implementing your version of the Toyota production system. I am Jim Fitzgerald, a Lean Six Sigma Master Black Belt and an expert on the Toyota production system.